In this video, we will show you how to replace your front strut assembly on this Honda Accord. This is part of your suspension located inside your front wheel well. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we need to do is safely raise and support the vehicle so the wheels are off the ground. Now once you have your wheel up off the ground, we're going to continue on to removing the wheel. To do that, you'll find that you have four 19 millimeter lug nuts and remove the hubcap at the same time. With the wheel out of the way, we can start removing the front strut. Let's have a look at where the bracket on the bottom of the strut connects to the lower control arm. You'll find that you have a 17 millimeter headed mounting bolt that comes through from the front towards the rear, and there's a 17 millimeter mounting nut. Go ahead and remove the pair, a quick inspection and set them aside. We can tap this out of place. We'll use a hammer and punch if necessary. Let's move up from there. We'll remove the 14 millimeter headed mounting bolt that holds this bracket to the lower portion of your front strut. Commonly, this will slide off of here. Otherwise, you may have to give it a couple loving bonks with a small hammer. We'll rest that down onto the lower control arm. Now we can move on the forward side of the steering knuckle. Over in this area, you'll find that you have two 12 millimeter headed mounting bolts holding your brake flex hose in place. Remove the pair, inspect the flex hose. Give this our quick inspection here, and now we can make our way up inside the engine compartment. In the engine compartment, we'll be looking along the top of the strut tower. You'll find that you have three 14 millimeter headed mounting nuts to remove. Do not attempt to loosen the center mounting nut. We'll get that first one off of there. A quick inspection, start it back on just a couple threads. Now we'll have to safely make our way inside of the wheel well. Take hold of that front strut, we'll lift it up just a little bit, remove that mounting nut, and then we can bring the strut out through the fender well. Careful for our flex hose and everything else that's down in this area, we don't want to cause any damage. There it is, friend. Now we can take hold of this. We're going to pay attention to the mounting point where the strut will fit down and into. Double check to make sure it's not rotted or damaged. Once you've confirmed that, continue on with a little bit of anti-seize. We'll use our glove finger to spread this around as necessary. Slide that back into place. Okay, it's time to install our brand new front strut assembly. Looking at the front strut, you can tell that you do have brackets on this that you can use for either side of the vehicle. Make sure you have it in the proper orientation. We'll take this and slide it into place. Let's get it aligned along the top. Here we are. Start on each of your three brand new mounting nuts here. Let's pause in the engine compartment and make our way back into the wheel well. In the wheel well, you may have to lower the suspension a little bit as needed here. We'll 
Start bringing this up into the proper position so we can put the mounting bolt through. You can use a rubber mallet along the bottom if you need to. We'll be careful not to cause any damage. With that in place, we'll continue on with our pinch bolt. It's a good idea to use a tiny bit of blue thread locker on the threading. Put that right through there. Snug it up, torque it to 32 foot pounds. Now we can get the lower mounting bolt in here. This bolt will come through from the front towards the rear. We'll start on the mounting nut and snug it up. Now that we have this snug, we'll torque it to 47 foot-pounds. Now it's time to resecure the flex hose while we're in this area. Align it with its mounting brackets, start in your mounting bolts and snug them up. Double check to make sure those are secured. One last quick inspection in this area and we'll continue on with installing the wheel with that hubcap. When installing your hubcap, you want to pay attention to the port for your valve stem. Align it, slide it in place, and then you can start on all four of your lug nuts. At this point, we'll bottom them out, get the wheel safely back down on the ground, and we can torque these to 80 foot-pounds. With the wheel back on the ground, let's torque these to 80 foot-pounds in a crisscross manner. And now we can make our way up inside the engine compartment. Now with the full weight of the vehicle back down on the ground, we can continue on inside the engine compartment, tightening each of our three mounting nuts. We'll snug them up and then torque those to 28 foot pounds. Okay friend, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, you want to make sure you go over to the other side of the vehicle and complete the exact same thing. Whenever you do a front strut, you do them as a pair. Once you've completed that, take your vehicle safely for a road test, listen for funny noises, and make your way down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.